Got me air. Jim, you got me air. <laughs> oh. Hi guys, we are starting this vlog in probably the most random way I ever have because we are bathing our headphones right now. <laughs> if anybody else has these big Apple headphones, I hope you are like me or I'm just absolutely disgusting, but mine are absolutely drenched in foundations. <laughs> I read on Google that you can give them a bath, so that's what we are doing right now <laughs> And I thought I'd have a little catch up with you while I do it because I didn't actually end up vlogging last week I was seriously up in my mum feels I haven't felt this kind of hormonal yet so much so intensely as I did last week I always said when I became a mum I wanted to kind of share some of it on on my YouTube channel because I always like to just chat to you guys about whatever the heck is going on <laughs> i always have done for however many years i've been on youtube now so thank you so much if you have been watching and you have joined along and listened all of these years or <laughs> however long you've been here thank you <laughs> but i do love just kind of sharing just whatever's going on in my life and right now well, actually, I'm not so bad this week at all. Last week was just very strange hormonally. <laughs> Do you know what? It's weird, though, because I I was obviously extremely hormonal when I first brought Winnie home, and I dealt with a lot of different crazy emotions of, you know, adjusting to a new life and just, like, the anxiety of having a tiny, tiny human that you just feel like you don't know what you're doing and you're kind of winging it every day. And I was very sort of up and down at those very early weeks. But I feel like I've been quite lucky where I kind of have felt quite level-headed so far throughout motherhood. And I was quite nervous about that because I naturally do get quite anxious and I have spoken about that for years on here, ever since I was a little, like, five-year-old maybe. <laughs> I've just been quite an anxious person and I feel like I've got to grips with it a lot over the past year or so and I worked quite a lot on it while I was pregnant with my therapist because I really wanted to make sure I was just understanding myself as much as I could as I went into motherhood and I definitely feel like it has massively helped but I mean your hormones are all over the shop when you're postpartum so it's just inevitable and we all experience it so differently at different stages however now Winnie is getting to the four month mark or she's just about four months now and I feel like I'm in a completely different sort of all over the shop phase <laughs> last week I honest to god wanted to do absolutely nothing except look at her and cry. <laughs> I've heard mum say this before I was a mum and I was like, okay, but I understand now. <laughs> and I just feel like I've never more in my life wanted time to just slow the heck down as I do right now. And I just felt like, I felt a lot of guilt because obviously she's still very young and I am working you know, every day at the moment, less than I was before I had her. But me and Niall are sort of switching between who's working, who's taking care of when in the days, um, because we are self-employed, we have our own businesses and they can't just fully stop really. And I also did want to continue because as I've said as well, I do feel like I want to sort of keep doing the things that make my heart sing well as be her mum. However, last week I did just want to be with her so <laughs> I just looked at her and cried most of the week <laughs> so it was just yeah I, I've heard many other mums on Instagram actually who replied to me when I was talking about this on Instagram which by the way thank you very much for sharing your stories too and it blew my mind how many of you have babies at almost the exact same stage as Winnie is and how we all are kind of going through this right now in different ways but we're all having a bit of a new hormonal high at the four month bit is that right i don't know but i do feel like lots of you said you were too <laughs> thank you for making me feel normal but um yeah i was just having a weird week and i just was like you know what i'm just gonna be mum and that is 
extremely productive in itself and actually the other thing i wanted to just quickly chat about because i was in my feels obviously last week thinking a lot and i realized that this time last year almost to this day not quite my grandma sadly passed away and it was five days after we told her about winnie because this was also the time last year that I found out I was pregnant with Wynn. I've never really experienced grief with somebody I'm really close to as an adult. So that was like a whole new thing to experience alongside the fact that I'd also found out about new life at the same time, which was a really weird thing to kind of get my head around. And now we're like back to a year on from that moment. I feel like I keep having dreams about her. It's just sad, isn't it, grief? Like you just, I don't know, it's just so weird. I don't know if I can even describe like what I've been feeling, but it's just a constant, like you just miss them so much and you just know you can never see them again. And I think as well with Wynne, like we see, like I've said to you guys before on YouTube, we see my grandma in Winnie, which is so amazing. Like just in some of her mannerisms and stuff. And I always hoped that would happen. Recently, I've just felt really sad that she never has got to know Winnie, she never met Winnie. That was, that's something that I struggle with probably every other day I think about it. Yeah, send a little remembrance to my grandma a year on in my vlog because she watched every single vlog. If there was ever a time I missed a vlog, she was the main reason that I felt bad for it. Stages Win has, like the little milestones, I just wish I could share with her too. So, yeah, grief is weird, isn't it? And it's the first time I've ever properly experienced it with somebody that I really loved and um, a year on feels, it's just crazy that it's been a year, I kind of forgot that it'd been a year and then I was like this is probably also why like, I'm feeling a bit strange at the moment. That's what my little brain's been thinking about recently <laughs> but I feel a little bit lighter this week and just a bit less all over the shop and I, I feel like it was good that I sort of took a step back and just hung out with Wynne because that's what my heart needed. So many of you have said to me like, take it all in now because they grow so fast and that fact is just heartbreaking. I never really grasped the fact that I think possibly the hardest thing about motherhood alongside, you know, there are lots of different difficulties of motherhood and you know, the exhaustion and all of that. But I think the most heartbreaking part is the fact that they just grow so fast. <laughs> <laughs> and my mum used to always say that to me and I was like, shut up mum. I love her stage she's at now, but I know that it's gonna change and I'm really excited for those new phases and milestones and when she can talk and walk and all of that. But I also just wish I could bottle up right now and save it forever, but you can't. Anyway, my headphones are marinating right now, but not that well. I mean, the water is a bit orange, but there's still a lot of orange on <laughs> I don't think it's worked very well. You no, know I've always loved getting my house cozy in the evenings, but now I actually have to. I just thrive in it. <laughs> I love it so much. I do it as early as I can. Now the clocks have gone back and it gets dark so, so early. I mean, slightly too early at the moment. <laughs> Literally is like pitch black at half four. I just love making my house cozy and now I kind of have to because Winnie loves to party in the evening. She doesn't usually like to go to sleep until like 1am. She honestly thinks she is a grown adult. Where I see so many people on Instagram talking about the fact their babies go to sleep at like 7pm or 8. Not my baby. <laughs> so we're just trying to make a bit more of a routine and a conscious effort to just really like get nice and tranquil and mellow and just get her in the zone. And yeah, we're just trying to get into a little bit more of a routine because we didn't really have one before. But I think she's only really at the age where it matters now anyway, I'm hoping. <laughs> um, so anyway, that is what I've been doing. I've even got the nursery rhymes on, which you might be able to hear which is probably a bit annoying, so I'll turn that down. <laughs> Before we do the routine, I wanted to have a very quick chat with you about contraception, because I have always chatted to you about it on here, and I'm obviously in this new kind of phase where I'm just figuring it all out again. <laughs> so <laughs> I just thought we could have a chat about it. Actually, what I might do is sit down with you on the chair so we're nice and comfy. I'm just gonna balance your mini. <laughs> I have actually now been using a app 
apps track my cycle for the past three years apps called natural cycles i swear by it it is honestly so good and i recommend it to everyone to try if they are looking for that option that isn't hormonal so i was on the pill for 10 years and um i don't think there's anything wrong with the pill at all and for some people it works really well but i'd kind of got to a point and actually i remember talking about this on my youtube channel when i first started trying natural cycles when i'd come off my pill because my moods were so it just the only way i could describe it is just like this i didn't really have any highs or lows in my day to day just like feelings towards things i just felt like i had this sort of foggy feeling in my head kind of and i wanted to see if it was because of my pill because one of my best friends told me at the time that she was experiencing the exact same thing and she had started using natural cycles and had noticed like this huge difference in just her general aura and <laughs> just like i don't know just her hormones obviously felt flattened and that's kind of how i felt too so yeah i wanted to try it and i have used it ever since you can actually change in the app to help try and conceive or just know when you're fertile to try and help yourself sort of follow your fertility window which that was the other thing which i was so embarrassed to talk about when i first came off the pill was i because i was on the pill where you never had a period either i just generally didn't know my cycle at all so i didn't know why i was down sometimes which was probably when my period was supposed to come and weirdly i was so excited to kind of have i mean we're never really excited to have a period but at that point i was because it had been 10 years since i'd had one and i just wanted to know what was going on with my body but i was also so embarrassed that i didn't even know that we had certain days in the month where we were more fertile well where we were fertile i just had no idea about like the cycle <laughs> that our bodies go through and i thank to this day that i decided to come off that and just understand myself more because I feel like I became way more in tune with my body just tracking my cycle and that is what natural cycles is all about and I'm so excited because this section in the vlog is partnered with natural cycles basically what you do is you track your temperature every day and then the algorithm works out what is going on with your cycle alongside the fact that you track like when your period is you track your mood if you want to there's all different things you can kind of fill out each day i'll just show you actually on today so at the top we have the temperature and then you can sort of track obviously if you're bleeding then it's going to track that it's your period or spotting if you've had sex your cervical mucus do you know what i used to also be so embarrassed by that just like saying that but since giving birth nothing is embarrassing anymore <laughs> um but also just tracking like your cervical mucus in the month explains so many things and i found it fascinating when i was trying to conceive um the fact that your mucus looks different when you're in your fertile windows blew my mind anyway that's a different story <laughs> And then you can kind of track your moods at the bottom where the little emojis are and then gradually it will work out what is going on with your cycle now i can't fully track my cycle right now because i still haven't had a period since having winnie so i'm just tracking my temperature to try and build that back up where it's understanding what my body's doing in that sense but i'm not sure i can fully track it exactly because i don't have a period still <laughs> so we are using condoms at the moment as well but usually i do just use this um before we had win i just used it by itself and just made sure i was tracking everything and taking my temperature now if you do have an apple watch this takes your temperature anyway in the mornings and it now can sync to the natural cycles app you don't need to have an apple watch but it is just another way that you can easily track it so it's first thing in the morning when you wake up it takes your temperature and goes straight to the app or you can use the, the thermometer which is what i used before i was pregnant every morning to track and just to explain as well if you are using it as a contraception alternative 
then when the algorithm does start to understand where your cycle is at from your periods, from your temperature, from all the bits you're tracking, it will give you red days where essentially you're fertile. So you, you know, will need to use extra protection like condoms or just don't have sex. <laughs> and then you'll have your green days, which is much more of the month once the algorithm gets to know you and your cycle, which means, you know, you're not fit at that point. So you're good to go. <laughs> so yeah, just to explain that as well, in case, I mean, mine are all red at the moment because I don't have a period yet. So I think it, it just doesn't quite understand what's going on because neither do I. <laughs> But hopefully when they come back then, we'll get back into a flow. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share that because I have found it brilliant over the past three years, whether I was using it as contraception or whether I was using it when I switched it to try and help understand, you know, when I was more fertile, then when it's likely to try and take the test after that because it gives you all of that information as well it's not going to be for everyone you know every woman is so different and it'll depend on your situation if you've got a long-term partner and you feel comfortable just you know doing that you kind of have to work together I find as well like me and Niall work together and we're like is it red day is it green day and he understands it too which I find really helpful but yeah I just think it is great and um just a really good option if you're looking for something or if you're struggling with anything like I was similar, it might be helpful for you as well. But I do actually also have a 15% off code for an annual subscription and a thermometer. If you use the code Megan, that will get you a little discount. So yeah, if you'd like to give it a go, highly recommend. But anyway, that's my little contraception chat for today. Guys, how beautiful is this new candle I just got from HomeSense? absolutely stunning it's so big as well so it's a spiced apple brown sugar dusted freshly sliced apples stirred with ground cinnamon clove and grated nutmeg touched with pure vanilla bean if that doesn't make you want to buy a candle i don't know what will <laughs> anyway i've just lit that to make it nice and festive in the room also just done a food shop and i thought we could have a little look together because i did go down the festive aisle I think Winnie might want to join us though, so I might go and grab her first. But they had some festive bits in and I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I have a little helper. She's gonna run through the food shop with you. <laughs> You're such a little cutie. You're looking at yourself. Look at those big blue eyes. Where did they come from? I will never know. <laughs> okay, so. Let's have a little browse. So we are a little bit early on the old chocolate boxes, but they sell out fast and <laughs> I love a hero. So I got myself a box. I also saw these, which I'm a big biscuit lover and these are just Christmas in a biscuit box. So have some pigs in blanket flavored peanuts, which I just thought sounded like Christmas in a peanut. <laughs> so that's why I got them. And these were also from the Festive Isle. Some mini chocolate chip penguins. I wonder what they're gonna be like. I don't really know, but they just sounded nice. I got some tuna because I love making tuna sweet corn pasta with cucumber. We've got some grenade chocolate fudge set shakes. These are really, really nice. Some bagels. The red onion and chive are my favorite ones. What about you? Are you a uh, sesame seed gal or a plain gal or red onion and chive because I feel like these are just the best. This I saw which I thought sounded really nice because I love the blueberry muffin naked bars. So I thought I'd try the granola. We've got some fuel chocolate porridge sachets. These are my go-to breakfast at the moment because they're super quick and easy and they taste really, really nice and they've got lots of protein in. We've got some Galaxy hot chocolate. Do you know what? I've always gone for the Cadbury's, but I thought I'd give the Galaxy a go, but we shall see, because I don't really like the really sugary, overly sweet hot chocolate taste, and often they do that except Cadbury's, so we'll see. I got some of these because I feel like ever since we've had Win, I just love all of the washing smelling super, super strong. Because we switched to all the baby stuff when we had her, 
before I just never really cared what I'd got, get, I used to just get some random powder or whatever, but there's just nothing better than a nice smelling, I can literally, I did the washing yesterday and I can smell it from here, I just love overly smelly washing. Got some chilli jam, because we like this in our wraps. We've got some sweet corn, because I pop this with the tuna in pasta. A little smoothie, because I've never seen this flavour and I thought it sounded nice. Blueberries, peaches and apples. We have some heck sausages, because I like them. <laughs> and I've never tried the sweet chilli before, so I thought I'd give them a go. Also got some easy peelers. Do you know what? <laughs> I was saying to Dal the other night. It is mental how every orange tastes so different. There is no fruit that tastes, like from each orange can taste so incredibly different. Sometimes they can be so disgusting. <laughs> but sometimes when they're like, oh, I don't know how you describe a good taste in orange, but it's almost like, not bitter, but bitter and sweet at the same time. Some of them can be so bland, but easy peelers are usually the safest option. I always go for them. Then we've got some kale, because I actually was thinking the other night I really fancy making some curly kale fries where you just pop loads of kale with some olive oil and some salt in the oven and it tastes really, really nice. I got some little rice packs because I find these really handy if you just want to throw something quick together. Chicken Caesar salad pack. This again is just a super easy meal to just throw together for like a quick lunch where I just pop some chicken with... Nando sauce on top, gorgeous. We've got, oh, this mango yogurt I thought I'd give a go because I've never tried this brand and I always see it because it has this sort of fruit compote in it. I've always been intrigued to see what it's like and mango is like my favorite flavor of things. So I thought we'd give that a go. We've got some cucumber to go in our pasta. We've got strawberry and banana frozen fruit mix. This is my favorite for smoothies. I feel like it tastes the best out of all of the frozen fruit packs. And I also thought I'd try this to go on my oats in the morning, a breakfast fruit topper. And it's got like peach, pineapple, mango, and strawberry in it in like tiny little chunks. So I thought I'd try that on my oats because I always fancy something fresh with warm oats. I never know what to go for. So I thought that sounded nice. But yeah, that's our little shop, which I just thought I'd share because I found some really cool little things that I don't usually come across like this. I'm so intrigued to try for breakfast. I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Maybe we'll have it in the morning and I'll let you know. No, because you love my seal so much. Oh yeah. I bought you a festive version. Festive seal, come on <laughs> <laughs> A gingerbread. Seal. A ginger seal. Yeah, give him a cuddle. He's got the same effect. What do you mean effect? So now he can live next to Seely. Seely and Ginger Seely. Got one each. Oh, Cute. oh look. Oh, she's snapping. They're so good, aren't they? Oh, These like squishy, chubby toys. I could so fall asleep right now. <laughs> when he's not sure. Is she awake? She's falling back asleep. Oh, look at her in a little Ursula outfit. Mom, not cool. Not cool. Get out my grill. <laughs> How do I look like a fucking ghost? <laughs> We look dead. <laughs> I look like a 50 year old ghost. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of the vlog. It's going to be good morning, everybody. And welcome to Vlogmas day one soon. Oh, windless. Windless. Ding, 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 Curry on her fucking side. It looks like poop, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. It's curry powder, isn't it? You big curry. Ready? <laughs> she usually loves that. Morning breakfast. <laughs> Naughty nudie. <laughs> Good morning, everybody from Katie Price. 
<laughs> wow. like that. They're supposed to be subtle, but I just... How am I supposed to get any work done around here? <laughs> Good morning, guys. I wanted to try this breakfast because I said I would. And I am a bit sad because I kind of really want some oats. But do what you got to do. <laughs> well, you have some oats then? No, I, I do want to try this because I love these naked bars. And I'm intrigued what a uh, granola edition would be like. Also, I am a changed woman to oat milk. I've always had soya milk. Oat milk's just something else. That doesn't look blueberry, does it? What about that is blueberry? Oh, actually, it does smell actually, like that it. Is. Oh, is that a blueberry? It's a blueberry. It's just <laughs> dried up. I thought it was a raisin. But to be fair, they've got big blueberries on the pack. Yeah, so What's that about? It. This is the thing, when I was a kid, all of the cereal boxes, I was always like, Mum, why does my cereal not look as good? You know what I fancied the other day? What? Like, something like that, cinnamon crunch or something like that. Cinnamon grains. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. They were good, weren't Should they? Should we do it over Christmas? Where we, really nice. Where we have some, like, really oh, sugary yeah. cereals. Just get crazy. Cocoa Pops. Ooh. It kind of does taste like the bars as well. Lovely chocolate. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with my pump and eat my naked granola. Baby. I've got the Santa Claus on. Wynn's practicing her rolling. <laughs> it's all going off. I just literally had to change the top because I was sweating that much. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, me and Carl, well, I showed Carl this TikTok of this Christmas dance. I said to Carl, we got to do it together. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. Carl's been practicing. Yeah, because if I'm going to do it, and because it's uh, probably the most challenging TikTok we'll probably do, yeah, it has as in to dance sort of thing. Yeah. So I thought if I'm gonna do it, then well, you've it's, it's gonna be good. I did. I needed a front-facing mirror, and then I had my mirror behind me so I could see what I'm going on behind. <laughs> 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 if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna well, be serious about it. I need to see it. I need to see it. Yeah, I'll show you now. Oh no, it's got me going, doing like the not like the lyrics, but like doing a you know, like. <laughs> 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 that was so good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. You should just put that on TikTok instead. <laughs> oh. Me doing the little bits like, Merry Christmas, everybody! Merry Christmas, everybody! Right, I'll let you. Oh no! This is so embarrassing. <laughs> You're the one that walked in the house and told me about it. Oh, but I'm probably getting into it as well, like the moves are proper sharp. <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Megan! <laughs> It's the, it's, the, it's the first bit where it's the Merry Christmas, everybody is so faint. Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody! <laughs> right, this is what I'm saying, going to another one. Oh Merry Christmas, everybody! I have been doing some festive shopping. I saw so many nice bits on H&M Home. And basically I wanted to just get some new bits for our Christmas table because we are hosting more people than ever this year. I feel like both sides want to be with Wynn, which is so, so cute. But I wanted to kind of like upgrade our table setting. I wanted to go a bit more colorful actually because every year I've gone for like the same thing same sort of tablecloth and all of the sort of decoration but I wanted to add a little bit more colour and vibrance this year. Firstly we have some table mats so I went quite plain with these because the other bits are the sort of more colourful things so I wanted to keep that nice and just neutral. Then I found these which I feel like if my vision works will look really really cool but they're these really colourful napkins quite like that like colorful festive like retro look so that's kind of what i'm going for i want to show you the candles that i got because they sort of make it is it these i don't know if it's this it's got these really really cool candles so i saw these and although only these two are kind of your more traditional colored christmasy color palette i guess <laughs> i feel like a mix of just a few different colors because they're the nice tall ones that you put in the middle of the table with like these 
as well. And then pine coloured tablecloth, which I thought we'd try this year. I'm hoping my vision works, but I might, I might just set up the Christmas table and see if it all goes nicely together, just in case. I also found these gorgeous mugs. They're not really for the Christmas table, but I just thought I'd get me a Nile one because I really like a clear mug at the moment. And I like the little gold stars. Also found some really cute little decorations for the tree. Our tree is very mismatched. So we've kind of always gone for that vibe because when I was growing up, that's what my mum did. <laughs> so we just put loads of random decorations. So if I see something that's just quite cool, I'll usually go for it. And this reminded me of my, somehow, it reminds me a little bit of my beetle. So I thought I'd get that to mark the occasion that she is no longer with us. <laughs> found another very cute little decoration which I also feel like symbolises me and Wynn for her first Christmas with the little baby bear. Oh do you know what as well I saw, not Christmas related but I've seen lots of people use these and apparently they're really just soothing and nice on the skin. A breath of calmness in your busy life. So it's one of these little rose quartz things that you just like, I don't know what they're called, but soothing massage. Rose quartz gua shape plate. Natural crystal soothing massage, where you just sort of like put it on your skin. And I also got it because I thought it'd be nice in the mornings to kind of wake my face up. And you just sort of like go like that with it and just massage, I guess. But yeah, I thought I'd give that a go. Oh, you know what? I saw this and I thought it'd be a really nice jar it's got like a slight Christmassy feel to it because it's got dark green <laughs> but I thought it'd be a really nice jar for like either chocolates or biscuits or oh, do you know what would be so good in this like celebrations just pour pouring all the celebrations in there and having them on in the kitchen or something and you can just grab one when you fancy last thing that i ordered was actually for win because she has this in like a dark brown and she loves it i feel like it gets her nap in so much better in the day so it's this gorgeous like borg teddy sleep suit but her brown one that she wears i often put her in on the weekends just if we're having like a cozy day at home and she just is so chilled loves to nap in it naps way longer than usual when she's wearing it and i think it's just because she's cozy and now that it's getting a lot colder and she's only because she was a summer baby i think it's a bit of a shock <laughs> that it's suddenly really cold i think she loves them so i thought i'd get her the white version because she wears it most days now and just seems very content when she's in it and they're so snuggly and nice but not like too hot that she feels like she's getting, you know, she never gets sweaty or overheated in it. That was my little H&M shop, but I did also pop into HomeSense with my friend Annie and we found some really, really cute Christmassy bits. I thought I'd show you some of them as well. So, Christmas tree mug. Niall's gonna hate me for this because he, I just gather up so many mugs now, especially festive ones, and he's just done a clear out and I've added one to the range. <laughs> But I just thought this was so cute and quite like, again, it's got that sort of retro feel where it doesn't, some mugs I think at Christmas can look a bit tacky and this is on the verge, but I feel like it just about isn't, but I love it. I feel like it's very, very cute and I feel like every year I like to get a new Christmassy mug and I use them all, but Niall just hates them. <laughs> I also got some oven mitts because I thought these were gorgeous. Niall will love them, I'm sure, for all of his cooking. <laughs> These little Christmas tree candles, which I thought would look really nice on the table, sort of dotted about, because I'm going for that slightly more colourful, actually maybe not, not with those tall ones, but I think they'll look nice on the coffee table, actually. And just, I don't know, I like little Christmas trees at the moment. I see them everywhere on TikTok, where people just have the little mini trees everywhere in their house, and I love it. I actually also saw these which I thought we could use once the other ones burn out because weirdly these tall ones seem to burn out really fast and last Christmas I think we ran out because they burnt through on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day because we had them lit for so long 
so I thought these would be nice as the other option. Maybe these could be the Christmas Eve ones and they could be the Christmas Day ones. <laughs> and the last thing I got, which Winnie absolutely loved because she came into Home Sense with us and she's now like front facing in her carrier. So she just like loves looking at everything, but particularly the snow globe. She was mesmerized. And I was thinking before we went in, I'm if there's a nice one, I might get her it so that she has that from her first Christmas. Also got this little wind up bit. Like it's one of those things that she can kind of get out every year and it's her little Christmassy decoration. We had all the old Christmas films where they give the child a little snow globe, but I thought this one was beautiful. But yeah, those are the bits I picked up. I'm getting festive. <laughs> and I actually, I think this is the, the earliest I've gone into Home Sense for Christmas stuff ever. Cause I usually try and wait till the start of December to do it at the beginning of Vlogmas. But then you do tend to miss some of the good bits because Home Sense obviously changes constantly. It's like a treasure chest. It's never got all the same stuff in. So yeah, I just thought I'd go and grab a few bits before we go in at Vlogmas time. <laughs> I wish that I could decorate in November as well. Do you decorate in November or December? I always wait till December, firstly because Niall doesn't love the house looking festive in November <laughs> and secondly because I like to do it during Vlogmas but I just feel like there's something about this year where everyone's doing it early and because we have Winnie now too and she likes like sparkly lights and things like that looking at things that are you know just in your face so I feel like she'll love all of the Christmas decor but yeah I don't know November or December, let me know. What are you doing? What should I do? Let me know. <laughs> I'm expressing myself. <laughs> okay, ready? Me and Megan are going to go to a Zumba class. Uh, not Zumba. <laughs> Zumba! <laughs> you mean, if I look through the door in the gym and you were doing a Zumba class. What, Zumba? Like? Yeah, they do like, yeah. You mean salsa. That's a what body what attack or what they do. Like. Samba. <laughs> Sal just Sam. really wants to go on street and come dancing, do you? No, I don't, that's you! Don't you fucking gaslight me! <laughs> we were doing it on that's holiday! You. Come yeah, on, do I'm it. I'm good at a pass a doble. <laughs> they can't see your leg! Oh, this is his hips! I think you'd be really good on You're not the only one that could move this hip! <laughs> I'm not sure they can move there, that's what I'm laughing at. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I thought they were good. No, no, they weren't, they weren't. Once been in your hands for a child I get my distance and you stand right by Tell me, baby, do you recognize me? Oh, I'm so sorry. 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 Oh,
to you. Mr. Basil. Look at those little sideburns, babe. You got big sideburns. <laughs> you need to go hey, to the barbers, boy. look. Oh no, she looks cute. <laughs> they look like little whiskers. Look at you, Blue. Flippers. Cute little baby, and she's got them on her feet as well. Her Grinch toes. <laughs> Keep them forever, don't we, Blue? <laughs> anyway, hi guys. Skincare is on. PJs are on. Baby Win is napping for the first time for a long time. Well, for a long period, she's actually napping. Uh, excuse me, you two. You know that's the wrong way around, Blue. <laughs> Told her many, many times. It's not how it works, Anne. 2023. <laughs> Anything happens. Um, yeah, we have got Win to have a little nap. I've just got myself all cosy for bed. Me and Niall are actually going to make a recipe from his cookbook tonight, and it's my favourite. It's like a roast dinner alternative, isn't it, now? Where are you? He's trying on his date date night outfit for tomorrow night. We're, no. going, we're going on our first big night out. This isn't my this. <laughs> Since when? My mum's babysitting. Oh, what's on your arm? Oh, it's because I just sick. wiped my face. I'm a babysitter for some reason. <laughs> it's just wet. When Wynn wakes up, I'm going to read her one of her new Christmas books because look how adorable these are. I found them in Mamas and Papas yesterday. They're so I think I'm going to do this one. I actually read her this last night and she loved it because it's got this little puppet Santa head. And every time you turn the page, he's there. And because you can wiggle it from the back, she just loves it. So I'm going to read her that later. But these two are really cute as well. I don't know if you guys ever read these when you were little, but they're the ones that like have different textures that you can feel. I really vividly remember having a book like this. Did you know? <laughs> that was such a <laughs> What's that? exaggerated. What's that? I'm interested in what you have to say. I'm you, you sound like a I'm always a kid's really interested TV in what you have to say. Megan, so tell me, what's that? No, do you not? Re did you ever read anything like this where it had little textures? I do, you... Yeah, I do seem to remember. I had some books like that. Yeah. I can't remember what mine was, but I loved it. And this is just like a bit more of a story book, which I thought looked really pretty. Will you two stop trying to take all the attention? Oh, that's what just headbutt the plot. Right, guys, this is what Niall has made for dinner. His book, which is the Harissa. Roast chicken and chips. It's one of your favourites, isn't it? It's definitely. I think it's my favourite. I'm a sucker for a roast dinner, but so this is like. So good when you have a roast chicken and you cut the thing off like that, the whole breast. You know what I mean? Just way better. You it's know when so people that don't calf right and it ends up like little bits of bitty chicken. You know what I mean? I don't mind a bit of a bit of bitty chicken. This is the sauce as well, which tastes so good. It's kind of a gravy, isn't it? But it's a. It's got a. Sort of spicy tinge. Yeah, well, say? I use the juices from the harissa in there. Uh, so that's why it goes red like that. What see. is a harissa? What is a harissa? <laughs> I don't actually know. What is a harissa? <laughs> what I don't is it? Harissa is just like a spice base sort of. Spice but you said there's a harissa in there. Oh, harissa it's a bit is steamy. The... <laughs> harissa is. You know what harissa is? That's harissa. So good. Okay. No, I, I honestly I didn't know what harissa was. It tastes great though. Yeah, it tastes Chips. great with spider. anything pretty much. But yeah, this is just some. <laughs> Have you got the spider there? Mm -hmm, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Easy air fried chips. You can oven bake them. So in the book, I've got alternatives, remember? So you, I've got the oven method and air fryer method. In case you don't have an air fryer. Just pop this down because I'm also holding them in. And it's just really like a really delicious but easy meal, isn't Very it? Very delicious. Very easy again. The whole recipe is really easy to be honest. Um, it's a bit of a wow recipe, isn't it? If you want to like for flavour wise, the recipes for four, isn't it? So we've got lunch tomorrow. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Gucci, Gucci, Pucci. Gucci, Pucci. It made me laugh so much after you said that last time. Loads of you guys have DM me whenever I share like a story of when, and you're like George Hart. <laughs> it's Winnie, isn't it, baby? Is Winnie. Oh, George. Winnie. <laughs> right, hi guys. It's us from two days later. I know this is probably very sudden. I'll ruin the clip. <laughs> tell him, go and tell him I was eating in the full ground. <laughs> it was 
was eating a chicken wing. <laughs> you even agreed when you watched it back. You were like, maybe we should refilm that conversation. <laughs> I don't think, I know some people just can't deal with that. No, but it's, it's a phobia, yeah, it's, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's true. It's, I, was, I was talking with my mouth as well. It I wasn't think. so much that. Basically, we were having a chat and I finished the vlog mm. and I wanted to have that chat. However, mm. when I went to edit it, Niall was like oh. chomping on chicken and licking his fingers and <laughs> it was very loud chomping and I know some people really hate the sound of people eating and mm. I'm not that bothered about it but while I was editing it I was like okay yeah, yeah. This, this is a little bit, a little bit much, a little bit icky. <laughs> I made a lovely dinner for you, I'm joking, and this is I'm this is the appreciation I get shown. <laughs> We're gonna have to change my battery. Over. Anyway, battery is back. But yeah, the conversation which Before I ruined the ch real chicken, sucking his fingers, <laughs> just sucking my fingers. <laughs> you were you sucking. Say it like that. It sounds weird. <laughs> You were sucking I was sauce. in the camera sucking No, the reason why it was bad though is because Niall was like mm. in the forefront of the lens and I was standing back so that was the main thing you could hear. Yeah. Why are you doing that? She pooped. No, she didn't say. Keep going. <laughs> um, yeah, because he was in the forefront. The camera I think was just picking up the... <laughs> so... I'm not a rabbit. <laughs> oh. I love the heavy breathing, don't you? Yeah. She sounds sturdy now. The conversation which we were having, which you won't have seen, was a conversation about Vlogmas and whether I'm doing Vlogmas and what the situation is because lots of you have asked are we doing it and um, I haven't fully kind of discussed it yet but we will be doing some form of Vlogmas. I don't know exactly what yet, because, but I don't want to miss doing it because I do love just Christmas time and just Vlogmas in general. I've done it every year since being on YouTube. I kind of change it up each year though. <laughs> she did a fart when she sneezed in as well. <laughs> I felt it on my leg. <laughs> 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 You might be able to hear it. <laughs> Alright, come on, keep We're going. We're not getting anywhere keep in this going. conversation. Ooh, um, <laughs> so, yeah, usually I recently have done it where I've done five days a week where I take the weekends off. A few years ago I did do seven days a week, but that was intense. <laughs> but I think because Wynn is so young this year and every day is quite unpredictable sometimes she's in a great mood sometimes she is fuming at life mm. <laughs> that's just how it is so i don't want to fully commit to five days a week however i want to do more than i do now and i do want it to feel like vlogmas so i think i'm planning on three a week and i'm roping nile in and aren't, aren't i yeah to what though being you want, i'm not well editing. we're just gonna Commit to it. I'll edit it. I'll edit it. I'll edit it. So I'm, I'll well, this is the thing. I, that's the other thing that takes a long time is all the editing, the thumbnails, the titles, and obviously having Win as well. I don't want to just be constantly doing that. I want to, you know, be with her and she's going to need me as well, not just yeah. constantly shooting. But Yeah, so it'll be a bit more like I'll get a bit more involved. A bit more collaborative. We're, we're joining forces for December. Aren't we? So you might see a bit more of him, sadly. <laughs> want people to watch, right? Um, yeah, no, well, yeah, I'll, I'll get involved. We've said to each other we're not really going to take on too much work elsewhere. Niall will have some book stuff to do, but you're going to commit a bit more yeah. to YouTube so we can do it together. I might just be walking around with my book like strapped to my face or something. <laughs> Pre order. Pre order. <laughs> The publication's in January, so December is like going to be a, a month where I just need to push the book as much as I can. So we might be making lots some. of food. There you go then. It's just a cooking food. channel. It's, it's going to become be a, a high protein cooking channel. channel. <laughs> you might help me a bit with editing though. I'm just yeah. a bit of a control freak with my editing where I, I've never, never let anyone edit my videos. But I do feel like that's what makes them feel like like what they are. Do you know what I mean? Well, you have to edit out all of your effing and blinding, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I do not 
deaf and blind. When you're screaming and shouting at everyone around the house, you know, <laughs> being the right little dragon. Oh, you, yeah. You can't pass that footage over to just anyone, can you? Well, I'm not a dragon, am I, Winnie? I'm joking. Um, Obviously. Um. I feel like you have to explain <laughs> that. That's a joke. That is a joke. Oh, look, she's standing. She's really sturdy. She feel like, I like she's going to be able to sit up soon. She's got strong leggies. Yeah, that's it. From all the squats in Vlogmas. the Vlogmas. Kirkmas is coming. Kirkmas is coming, but we're just going to take oh, it as it comes. Yes. And some weeks, you know, if we do have a week where we get five up, then we do. But it probably will more likely be three. But I feel like three will be good, won't it? And it's going to be Wynn's first Christmas. And we're probably going to have a new intro with baby winning. Oh, stinky teaser. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I wanted to get that little chat in because I've been meaning to kind of well i've been do it since i ruined it with the <laughs> fucking chicken no i've been meaning to discuss vlogmas by the way the chicken was really good the chicken was great from my cookbook but maybe i'll insert a tiny clip to show you just, what we it mean tastes, about them. it tastes great just don't eat it if you're filming at the same time with your fingers right do in front one or of the, the other lens. and it was funny because you couldn't see your face it was just your mouth eating chicken great. <laughs> lovely like, Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I will hope you see you next week for another one.